Yes, John, that's right. I'm getting reports that Joshua Perry, host of Big Climbers, doesn't know how to tie a figure eight. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome back. I hope you had an amazing Christmas. You got everything you wanted. If you're new here, welcome to Toots' favorite underground climbing channel. Sit down and buckle up. So, anyway, uh, last week's video, I had a follow through bowline versus a figure eight, and some of you guys said, "Ah, eh, your figure eight's sloppy." I said, "Okay, well, let's let's test out some sloppy figure eights and some clean figure eights." You guys kept uh, talking about it, sending me links to other channels and everything. I figured, hey, let's do some own t let's just do our own testing here on this channel, see what happens. So should be fun. We'll do some fall testing and some super dirty, ugly figure eights, some clean figure eights, and then see what happens. And then maybe we'll test a couple other ways to get figure eights so they're not so tight. Or one uh, commenter said it, said uh, welded together. So let's test that out. And uh, congratulations to Lisa Hudson. Her, her whole family seemed like they bought some merch and uh, here they are, I put a, po a picture of them. So they won the contest, I'm sending them out $500 so they could buy some Christmas gear. And uh, this channel is all about giving back, so uh, I, I hope I get to do something like that again. And I, I guess I'm becoming the Mr. Beast of climbing. <laughs> Next I'll be giving somebody a mountain or something, I don't know. Maybe I'll give someone a rock gym in, in, in a future episode. One day, one day. Anyway, uh, so let's get started. Okay, so we're gonna make four knots on this rope and then do some fall testing on them and uh, see what happens. Uh, so let's first tie at the beginning of this rope. Here's the end. Let's first tie the, the most ugliest figure eight that's ever been devised to humankind and see what happens. So uh, if you wanna tie a really clean figure eight, you wanna come in through this side over here to start off. But we're gonna go through here. Let's see, let's, let's thread it through like that. Get it real crossed. Let's thread it, let's see, maybe through this side, and then we'll come up through here. Super ugly, let's see. And then we'll leave it loose so it gets nice and shock loaded. So that's, that's number one. Okay, so, oopsies, shock the camera. All right, talk about shock loading. All right, so now we'll try to tie one like this. Now, if you want to do a, a, a figure eight on a bite, trick is you take this side and just don't stick it in like that. You flip it like this. And then also right before you put it, right before you cinch it up tight, you put this bottom side up on top like that. And that kind of, if this is the loading rope and the loading rope's down here, that's what makes it easier to untie. Instead of the loading rope being down here, because then it ends up pinching down and, and getting under that one. So if this one's already on top, then it kind of makes it easier to do. But we'll test that out. So this is going to be our super clean version, like that. Super nice and clean, no twists, everything's nice. And we're also going to preload it, make it tight so it doesn't get a nice shock load into it. This one's going to be, so we got super ugly and loose, as clean as we could possibly make it. Let's see over here. What can we do? Let's do let's do a figure nine over here. Let's do a figure nine. See what that's like. Figure nine. Instead of coming in over here, we're gonna get a little bit more, and we're gonna come around. Instead of in there, we're gonna go around a little bit more. We're gonna come right through here. Okay, so we got figure nine. All right, so. What else can we possibly tie? Let's tie just a regular overhand and see what happens. So, and then just a regular overhand. All right, so let's go take some falls on this stuff. Let's go have some fun. Okay, so I got my couch harness on and an anchor up here. Let's throw down this crash pad just in case because mama didn't raise no fool. And let's give this some fall test. So first up, our top one is gonna be our Super duper ugly, loose Frankenstein figure eight. I'm gonna put that here. I'm gonna clip into this figure eight over here. All right, let's get some fall tests on this ugly one and then the super clean one. Ooh. Ooh. Three for good measure. Ooh. 
Ugh, okay. So, we've loaded our super clean version and our ugly version. Let's see what it's like loading the figure nine and just the overhand. The overhand up here, figure nine over here. That's some hard falling. You know, I, honestly, I don't think I fall that hard on lead. It's usually a lot more dynamic than that. So some pretty hard falls. Oh, man. All right. So these are pretty loaded. Let's get this onto the table. See how long it takes to untie these and what they're like. To the table. All I want for Christmas is you. Okay, so um, let's put the timer here. And let's time how much it takes to do each one of these knots. And we'll start off with the Frankenstein knot. So let's get going on this one and see what it's like. Ready and begin. Okay, so you can see it's been loaded in all kinds of crazy ways. Wait, maybe I shouldn't ramble while I unknot it. <laughs> so anyway, you see it looks kind of crazy. All right, now let's start. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Oh uh, boy, I just spent a couple seconds just looking at it. You can see the tail got eaten up a lot, so there's that. I'll tell you what, it's already pretty hard. It's a rock. This is a pretty hard falls. Now, normally with figure eight, you want to try to grab these two ends like this, work it over like that, push it through. This end, push this end through like that. And that just gonna bend these ends over, usually loosens right up. Oh boy. Ah, stop. Ah, whew. 41 seconds for the super ugly one. Okay. And I did a little rambling. Next, the clean one. Hit it. Oh, wait, wait. That doesn't count. Hit it. Okay. So, should be able. Grab this one and bend it over. One of the things, mistakes people make is they try to pull the rope, but if you actually work more on pushing, like pushing this end over here, you usually get it undone a little easier. Man, that's rock hard. Come on. Oof, that's actually harder to untie. All right, hold on. Let's see. Oh, man. Oh, crap. The hell? Maybe if I push this over here. Wasn't this supposed to be the easier one? This one I can't even get undone. All right, maybe if I... Maybe if Go through here, loosen this one up a bit. Get some slack in there. Okay, now there's just this eight that's right here. It looks like it needs to be undone. Did I do something wrong here? I can't even get this thing undone. What the hell? This one's being a real pain in the ass. Tell you what, this one's rock hard. If I could just get this little part over here, then we should have something. Two hours later. That was a bad accent. Man. Ew. Fact, 
I think it would have been harder. So, I know, I'm trying to untie this while it's on a harness. Let's get this over here. And that over there. Whew. That's actually pretty pumpy. Wow, that was really difficult. What the heck was so hard about that? I thought that one was supposed to be easy. Did I do something wrong? F's in the chat. Okay. Anyway, this is a figure nine. Let's see what this one's like. Okay, figure nine. Whew. Now, I'm really scared of doing, I'm gonna do this, I'm trying to do this overhand. Let's go, let's do it. Oh, okay, so I don't know what the hell just happened there or what I just proved, but uh, I'll leave that guys, I'll leave that up for, for you guys to decide. What the hell just happened there? I don't think I'm recommending Thai figure eight the sloppiest possible way possible, but uh, I'm gonna have to review the video and see what the heck just happened there. I don't even know, maybe I did something wrong. I'm just gonna post this up just like this and <laughs> just let you guys decide. You guys seriously didn't think I was just gonna leave you hanging. No, I'm just as curious as you are as to what the hell's going on here. So this one, we'll do it again, just the top, top and bottom. This one will do rope tensioning side on the bottom. So rope tensioning side on the bottom, right there. Okay, rope tensioning side. Now it's rope tensioning side on the top. Rope tensioning side on the top. Okay, that's that one. Top is on top. And the bottom one, we're gonna do rope tensioning side on the bottom. Which is gonna have to be like this. Rope tensioning side on the bottom. on the bottom, right here in the middle, right there. Okay, rope tensioning side on the bottom, right here, closer to the center of the knot. When this gets tight, it's gonna be closer to the center of the knot. This one, when this gets tight, it's at the top of the knot. All right, let's see what happens here. Ooh. Hey. Okay, I think I've come to the conclusion. All right, so this is at the knot was at the top. This one with the knot was on the bottom. I've come to the conclusion. I figured it out, I think. Hard fall, make rope tight. That's what I think. All right, so bend this one over. Who's I don't need to go to the rock gym anymore. I gotta just untie knots. Bend this one, top loop over. Okay, and then that's loosed up and done. So that was loop closer to the center of the knot. This one looks uglier already. And this is loop at the 
at the top. Same thing. I think it, it must it must just come down to what type of rope you're using. I don't know, I can't figure it out. My conclusion is hard fall make rope tight. It could I think it comes down to what type of rope you're using, what diameter rope you're using. That could probably make a difference. Try two different ropes. The one I did that was like supposed to be really good, the good way, end up being harder than the really soft. I'm I'm more confused. Let me know what you think. Comments in the below. Comment down in the section below. I'm out of here. What is that you say? No, Josh. We want to see you fall more. We want to see you fall more. Okay, fine. I'll do. I'll do a figure eight here. And then I'll end it with a Yosemite finish right through here. And that is, that is loop, tension loop on bottom. Tension loop on bottom. Okay, over here, I was pissed, I'm pissed at the figure nine. So I'm gonna do that again. And this time I'm gonna wrap the figure nine on top first and then bring it down and then see if that helps. Okay. And then the tensioning on this is in the middle. So we got a Yosemite finish and we got figure nine. Okay. So this is the figure nine. This is the Yosemite finish. So it should have gave us some more room to pull things out. A lot of tail. <clears throat> okay, well, I don't know, it's still pretty tight. Eh, I'd say that's just as tight even with the Yosemite finish on it. And then the figure nine, let's see if that's any different. Still pretty tight. It's actually, I feel like the figure nine is tighter than the figure eights. It feels like a damn rock. It feels like, yeah, it feels like it's welded shut. I don't, I don't even understand it. The figure nine, I don't know if the figure nine may be as strong or not. What do you think about this, huh? What do you think? What do you think about it? Do you think, what are you, you're nervous? You're nervous about it? It makes you nervous, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a very nervous time. It's very nervous times. We don't understand what's going on. Up is down, down is up. Left is right, tight is loose. What's going on in this world? I guess the figure nine is strong or not because it has more to eat up, but I would think that this would have been easier to, to loosen up. One last thing before this video becomes an hour long. Give up on the figure nine. Let's just do, let's do a bowline, a retraced bowline. Let's see what the hell happens with that. make it real tiny okay yeah alrighty 
This, the, I don't want to give that. I want to go this way. Yeah, like that. Okay, now let's retrace that. This is retracing the bowline on top. Oh boy. Okay. Around. And then through here. And then. I'll just tuck it in here. Like I did in my bowline video. I'm just stick that on there. Oh gosh, do I have to untie this? Okay, let's throw a whole let's throw a whole curveball in the situation. Let's do alpine butterfly. Alpine butterfly and follow through bowline. No. Stay. Stay, damn it. Not you, dog. Ugh. Okay. All right. Alpine butterfly. Let's see, what's the loot? Fastest way to untie Alpine Butterfly. If I pulled on this and this, it's pretty tight. It's pretty tight. It's not as tight as that overhand though. It's tight, but it's not as tight as that overhand. Okay, Alpine Butterfly. Bowline. Done, it's loose. The end, that's all she wrote. Yep, that sold it for me. If I'm ever gonna be taking a bunch of whippers, I'm tying a bowline follow through. Yep, that's it. It's settled. Okay, Josh Perry climbing out of here. That's it, at the end. <clears throat>